Wote na shara Yesu wali watuma Haka wagiza Hakisema, hakisema Katika njia za mataifa msiele Wala katika njia wa wote wa wasamaria msiki Katika njia za mataifa msiele Wala katika mji wa wote wa wasamaria msiki Haote na shara Yesu wali watuma Haka wagiza Hakisema, hakisema Katika njia za mataifa msiele Wala katika mji wa wote wa wasamaria msiki Katika njia za mataifa msiele Wala katika mji wa wote wa wasamaria msiki Maagizo ya ke baba mungu Uwe mwana kunzi na weta onamani Vita chuki, uchungu na asira Hayo ni baadi ya mengi maoku Kinyumesha maagizo ya ke baba mungu Uwe mwana kunzi na weta onamani Na we nugu yangu Yesu anakuita leo, anakuwagiza, anasema, anasema. Katika njia za mataifa usiele, wala katika njia za zote za wasomi ni usige. Katika njia za mataifa usiele, wala katika njia za zote za wasomi ni usige. Na we nugu yangu, Yesu anakuita leo, Ana kuagiza, ana sema, ana sema. Katika njia za mataifa usiele, wala katika njia za zote za wasomi ni usige. Katika njia za mataifa usiele, wala katika njia za zote za wasomi ni usige. Yesu anakuita leo, anakuagiza, anasema, anasema Katika njia za mataifa usiele, wala katika njia za zote za wasomi ni usige Katika njia za mataifa usiele, wala katika njia za zote za wasomi ni usige Na we nugu yangu, Yesu anakuita leo Anakuagiza, anasema, anasema Katika njia za mataifa usiele Wala katika njia za zote za wasomi ni usige Katika njia za mataifa usiele Wala katika njia za zote za wasomi ni usige Katika njia za mataifa usiele Wala Hebu tumpigie makofi Mungu wa mwanzilishi. Amen. Tumpigie makofi ya nguvu. Strong clapping. Muongezee tena. More claps. Muongezee ni tena. More claps. Muongezee ni tena. And more claps. Asante sana, asante sana. Thank you sana. very much. Asante sana. Thank you very much. Tangu siku ya Jumatano from Wednesday Mungu ametuwezesha. God has enabled us. Ametulinda. He has secured us. Until we have come to this Sunday. Utano muzuri sana. A very nice crusade. Kama weo lisikiliza muubiri. If you've heard the message. Umu utano ulikuwa muzuri sana. This crusade has been very nice. Mana mungu wa metuma neno. Because God has sent a word. 
Umeokoka kweli wewe? You are truly in salvation. Lakini unatembea na nani? But who are you walking with? Katika kule kuokoka kwako. In your salvation. Yeye ndio Mungu watu alitaka watu wajue. That is what God wanted the people of God to hear. Maana because yule muganga yule that medicine man ametushinda or that damsel is overcomers. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Muganga kweli kila soothsayer truly anatupa ramli. She is a soothsayer. Lakini kitu cha kushangaza sana. But something surprising. Akiona watu wa Mungu dio hao. When she sees the people of God tayari anafuatana na wao. Already she follows them. Acha mimi hao ni watu wa majine, hao ni watu wa nini? Doesn't know that the people of religion? Uh-uh. No. Alijua hao watu, she knew that these people. Hao na mimi. These are not together with me. Anatoka nje. So she goes out. Hiyo alikuwa anatangazia watu. So she was announcing to the people. Anawaambia, telling them, watu hawa these people ni watumishi wa Mungu aliyejuu. Are the servants of the most high God. Wahubirie watu. Who are preaching to people. Mambo ya wokovu. The word of salvation. Oh, they are not so saying like me. And then she goes back to so saying. But she has already announced the people. So people are surprised. She has gone back to so saying. And these people. They are now looking at these churches. These preachers, the way they are going, and the word that has been spoken by the damsel. Hallelujah. So she did that for many days. Sisi kukidogo no not few days siku nyingi many days akafuatana tu na wao she was pursuing these people kila wakitoka every time they wakifika, go out when they reach there anawafuata nyuma she goes behind them nakupiga kelele and shouting anawafuata nyuma following them nakuwapiga kelele and shouting lakini si kuwapinga but not opposing them kwa kuwainua but uplifting them kwa kuinua Mungu yule wale wanaoinua but uplifting the god that is preached by these people anawaambia watu telling the people watu hawa these people ni watumishi wa Mungu are servants of god aliyeju, the most high god wa wahubirie watu who are preaching to people mambo ya wokovu the word of salvation alafu yeye anarudi kutupa and then she goes back to suit saying jambo hili so this thing nikamfanya paulo made paul akasikitika sana to be grieved. Why is she being guided by the devil? And she doesn't speak her own thing. She's talking the truth. So he was grieved very much. That's why one day he had to command the demon which is making her to be a soothsayer. She didn't see that. She was commanded to go out. Sasa bwana zake so the masters of this council, when they saw that their profit is not stop, their profit now pesa za kwenda kuweza kupata chupa moja money to maybe able to go and go drinking azionekani tena is no longer seen wakawasi watoke huko mpakani they besought these people to go out of that town waende sehemu zingine that they go to other areas lakini hapa waondoke but they should leave this place bwana yesu asifiwe sana amen lakini tayari but already wao mtaa wote the whole city umekisha kutangazwa na huyo mwanamke had already been announced by this town na na pepo imetoka and the demons are also cast out. She is no longer soothsayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So this was a great teaching Papa indeed. Vipi, that, ubiri, that when the preacher is preaching, when he stands here, ubiri, and he is preaching, je, na are you together with him? Na are you pursuing him? Because it is one thing. Once he stands here, kuhubiri, when he begins to preach, you see where he is going. Anatembea wapi? Where is he walking? Sasa unaandamana na yeye. So you accompany him. Unaandamana na yeye. You accompany him. Kule anakoenda. Wherever he is going. Unaenda naye. You go with him. Akirudi huku. When he goes this side. Naye. You are coming with him. Uko nyuma yake tu. You are behind him. Uko nyuma yake tu. You are behind him. Kwa yale anayenayo. In whatever he say. Mungu anasema. God is saying. Utafika kule wendako. You will be able to reach where you are going. Maana yule mwanamke. Because that damn sir. Aliwaandama pursued these people. He followed them from behind. And eventually the demon, which was at every time, making her to be a soothsayer, was cast out. So once you are pursuing the preacher, where he is going, where he is going, you are together with him, you are pursuing him, until the end of the service, that demon, which is maybe hindering, that good things should not be seen in you, will be cast out. Itatoka. It will be cast out. It won't be together with you. Shetani, because the demon kabisa, does not need at all by anything that's called holiness. Usafi wa moyo. Holiness. Mtu anayependa kweli. Anayependa kweli. A person who loves the truth, hana haja na the devil does not need that person. 
He, he needs a person who is deceiving, a person of hatred, a person who is always prating. But anybody who is rejoicing the truth, who is pursuing the truth, who is following the true people, the devil does not need that person. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that is the secret that you are here, you are worshipping here, in any other church of this teaching. Where you are, when you listen to the preacher, so that you may be prosperous, you have to be pursuing the preacher. Uphold to what he is teaching. Do what he is teaching. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because when he stands here, he's just being used. So for you to be prosperous, you have to abide with him. You have to abide with him. You have to pursue him. You have to abide with him. That word was so great indeed. That's why you see it has never gone out of my mouth. It has surprised me. Amen. It has surprised me. So, we are missing many things. Because when the preacher stands here, you are opposing him. You are opposing him. That way you are not together with him. He is walking alone. You are not the servant of God first. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is not a servant of God to you. That one has never said even one day to confess a sin. He is possessed with all demons. He has all the darkness. But the spirit of God enabled her to uplift the God of these people. Amen. Uplifting the God of these people. And the demon that was possessing her were cast out. Amen. So even today we have come. We don't have any other business here. Because the word is already here. And even my here, I don't know what he's going to talk about. Maybe you are aware of anything. What he's going to say. But I don't know anything. Until the time he begins to open his mouth. So when he begins to speak, do not say, why is he not saying like yesterday? Why is he not saying like the other, the other day? Why, why is he not the saying like the day before yesterday? That way you're not together with him. That is not to pursue him. That is not following him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tembea. Tembea. Walk. In those things which are being spoken at that very time. Then you go with him where he's going. Walk with him where he's go going. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mungu. God will make you exactly what you need to be fulfilled in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So without wasting any time it is about on our heads so that I may give my chance early that I may be able to minister unto us. Baba Mungu wa mama mwanzilishi katika mutumishi wako mwana nina kushikuru mwakosi mwema kwa upendo wako mkuu mana ni mapenzi yako kilisho wa mwana ni wewe tu Uliye tuleta bwana maana umetayarisha neno kwa ajili ya uzima wetu baba ninakushukuru kwa kila ule mleta na hata wale ambao wako njiani wanakimbilia bwana kuja kulisikia ondo wa vikwazo na vizuizi katika barabara ili uwafikishe kwa masaa yale wasitahili ili kusikiza neno lako bwana baba naifungua ibada hii mikono ni mwako nikiamini Mungu wa mwanzilishi huko pamoja nasi Ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo mokozi wetu. Amen. Asante bwana Yesu. Thank you Lord. Asante bwana Yesu. Amen. Kwa hivyo tulia ndugu yangu. So become a brother. Tulia mama. Become mama. Tulia ndugu yangu. Become a brother. Pale ulipo. Where you are? Neno linakuja pale pale. The word is coming right there. Linakuja pale pale. The word is coming right there. Utatoka vile ulivyokuja. You know how the way of come. Ukiandamana na yeye. When you pursue him. Ukimfuata. And follow him. Ukimfuata. If you follow him. Utatoka vile ulivyokuja. You will not go out the way you came. Karibu Pastor Rimba. Welcome Pastor Rimba. Karibu. Welcome. Uje tuongoze. Come and minister to us. And teach us. Kila neno unahimizwa. Exactly the word that is insisted in you that you tell us. Kila neno unahimizwa. Every word that is insisted in you tell us. Sisi tuko hapa. We are all here. Tunakusikiliza wewe. Listening to you. Hatuna maneno mengine. And we have nothing else to do. Tunakusikiliza mpaka mwisho. We are here to listen to you at the end. Karibu pastor. So welcome pastor. Karibu sana. Welcome very much. Karibu sana. Karibu sana. Amen. Oh, well.
Let us all stand up. Anybody in this camp to stand up wherever he is and observe a silence of one minute. Let us all sit down. Amen. Amen. I, I thank the God of the founder who has secured us by the prayers of his servant now he has brought us together again this morning we have done this standing up and observing a minute of silence because in 1998 a day like today 27th of December the servant of God Mujumbe passed on. So I have done that in remembrance and honoring remembering that day. Amen. Amen. He guided us in many things and opened many churches. Kenya. Kenya, Tanzania, more especially in Tanzania, even though it had already started, but then he strengthened it. Uganda, and in Uganda, he went up to where Mrs. Dowdy is. He's preached to us. I know all of us who are there at that time remember this. Amen. Amen. And he was holding the steering after the demise of the founder of the church. If it were not for his farm stand, then we wouldn't be here, all of us. Amen. Amen. But because of his farm stand and his great love, that's why we are here. That's why we have done that. In honoring, remembering this day. Amen. Maybe you had forgotten that. But it was a day like today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the servant of God, Emmanuel K. Amzungu, with great joy, has passed to greetings in the great name Alleluia. of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Thank you very much for receiving the greetings. Today is the last Sunday of the year. It is a Sunday of great joy. Amen. Amen. We have been secured. Until today we are ending the year. This is the last Sunday of the year. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Kwa hivyo ni shukrani kubwa. So we are so grateful. Mungu amwanzishi kutulinda. For the God of the founder of security. Kwa maombi ya mtumishi wake. By the prayers of his servant. Paka umeletwa. Until now you have been brought. Tumekuwa tukisafiri tangu jozi. We have been traveling up and down. bado tunasafiri. And we are still traveling. Na Mungu wetu kwa maombi ya mtumishi wake. But our goal by the Na prayers of his servant. Na kule moyoni. I believe in your heart. Haleluya. Haleluya. Na amini kule moyoni mwako kule. I believe in my heart. Kama umefuatana na la Mungu. If you follow the word of God. Kama umefuatana na la Mungu. If you are following the word of God. Kwa moyoni in your heart. Unasikia uvivio mpya. You feel there is a new revival. Unasikia amani mpya. You feel there is a new peace. Maana la Mungu ni uzima. Because the word of God is life. La Mungu ni amani. The word of God is peace. Anasema, he says, hapo kwanza kulikuweko neno. At the beginning was the word. Neno alikuwa kwa Mungu. And the word was with God. Na katika hiyo neno, and out of that word, kulikuwemo uzima. There was life. Haleluya. Haleluya. Kwa hiyo kijaliwa, so if you are able, kuamini neno, to believe in the word na kufuata neno and to follow the word la mungu the word of god kwa imani by faith na furaha and joy ufuatane nalo you follow the word haleluya haleluya kinasema alifuatana once you follow the word na kena paulo follow the lakini maana yake aliamini la mungu but the meaning is she believe in the paulo word of god paulo ni mwanadamu Paul was a human being. Silas ni mwanadamu. Silas was a human being. Johana ni mwanadamu. John was also a human being. Angewafuata wao kama wanadamu hangepona. Had she followed them as human beings she would have been healed. Lakini But she was enabled kuamini la Mungu to believe in the word of God. Moyoni mwake in her heart alifuatana na la Mungu. She follow with the word of God. Hajaokoka hajapona. She's not yet safe, she's not in salvation. Akapenda. But she love. Akapenda. She love. Akafuata kwa pendo. She love. she follow the word with love. Akafika kwa uzima. And eventually she reached to where life was. Hakuna siku alijuta. There is no day she regretted. Maana ameamka because she has woken up. Bado pepo ziko za uaguzi. She is still possessed by the demons of divination. Aseme, and even today to say siendi kwa to, Today I'm not going to the crusade. Kila amuka, Every time she wakes leo, up Watumishi wa Mungu wako wapi? Where are the servants of God today? Anaambiwa wako huko Gotani. She told that they are at Gotani. Anachukua gharama anaenda huko. So she takes the cost to go there. Maana furaha yake because her great joy ni yale maneno wanenayo. Are the word that are being spoken. Na kwa sababu anafurahia la Mungu. And because she's rejoicing in the word of God. Nasema, the Bible says hapo kwanza at the beginning neno, there was a word. Na neno, and the word alikuwa kwa Mungu. was with God. Katika yeye and out of that word uzima, there was life. Baraka, there was a blessing. Amani there was peace in the house. Kazi nzuri, there was a good work on employment. Katika hilo neno. Inside that word. Ukifuatana nalo. So once you follow the word Ukifuata muhubiri, once you follow the preacher, ni mwanadamu, who is also a human being. Lakini lengo, but the idea, ile neno linalo neno ni. The word that's being spoken. Uamini ni la Mungu. You believe is coming from God. Muhubiri anaweza hata kesho. The preacher can change even tomorrow. Hata mimi kesho naweza geuka. I can also change even tomorrow. Mwanadamu, because I'm a human being. Lakini ile la Mungu ni. But the word of God. Amen. Amen. Ujaliwe kufuatana nalo. You are able you are able to Ujaliwe follow kupenda. the word. You are able to love the word. Mungu God atakuwa pamoja na wewe. We'll be together with you. Haleluya. Haleluya. Muhubira anaweza geuka kesho. The preacher can change tomorrow. Hata umeona ameenda kwa bar. Until you see him going to the bar. Hata umeona yuko vichakani kule. Or maybe in bushes. Na wanawake. With women. Lakini Bwana Yesu. But Jesus Christ. Abadiliki. He does not change. Yeye yule jana. He's the same yesterday. Leo, and today. Na milele. And forever. Na milele. And ever. Ukifuatana naye. If you pursue him. Milele utakuwa na amani. Forever you'll milele have peace. Milele utakuwa na uzima. Forever Forever shall have blessing. Hallelujah. 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 Kabisa. Surely. If you follow Jesus Christ, He is the one who has life. If you follow him, milele. forever. Katika maisha yako duniani. In the life of your in the life of the world, world, you will see blessings pursuing Manala you. Mungu, because the word of God linasema, says Tueni vitu you give out things, utapata vitu and you'll get things ufuatane nalo hilo if you follow that one mbona inaweza geuka kesho a preacher can change tomorrow hata awe mchoyo he can be very selfish hata ugonge nyumbani kwake until you knock at his house asikufungulie mlango and he doesn't open the door for you hata akufichie chai chini ya kitanda until he hides a cup of tea under the bed amen amen lakini bwana yesu but jesus christ ye ni wa upendo miaka yote kuendelea na kuendelea continuously and continuously wake ni wa milele na milele na milele is everlasting haleluya haleluya
If you follow him, you have peace all days. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You read the, the book of Matthew, chapter 16, verse 6, 17. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever and ever and ever. He has never changed and he will never change. If you follow his word with love, by faith, he's together with you. In trouble, he's together with you. You find that you're in tribulation, but again in that tribulation, you feel you have strength. You feel you have faith, faith will be healed. Because you are not alone. But once you are alone, when tribulation comes, then you feel you are not secured. You think death. You are seeing bankruptcy. Because you are alone. But if you are together with Jesus Christ, because you are fulfilling the will of God, even if the devil brings tribulation, you feel you are still secured. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Job because he was following the word of Ayubu. God. Job because he was following the word of God. He had believed in the word of God. He was following the word of God with love. Even when tribulation came, he never fainted. God strengthened him. And he said, his God has given me and again he has taken may his name be glorified but when tribulation comes to you you are fainting you are filled with worries you are seeing death you are seeing no success you are seeing to be forsaken by your husband this fear is coming because you are not following Jesus Christ. There is a place that this God, you are talking contrary things against him. You are doing something rudely, not the will of God. That's why when hunger comes, you are think being forsaken. Even when he says today I have nothing, you don't have the faith that tomorrow he'll get. You are filled with what is that? It's not that he has no money. Maybe he's refusing to give me food. You don't have the strength that God will give him. You see that he's done it purposely. Because maybe she, he's revenging to me. Why are you being condemned? Because you are not fulfilling the word of God. There is a day you answer him wrongly. You are not fulfilling the obedience. You read for us. Na ishara hizi zitafuatana na hao aminio. Kwa jina langu watatoa pepo, watasema kwa lugha mpya. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. These signs will follow them with those who believe. With those who believe. They will follow. Amen. They will follow. According to the way you are also following the word of God. With love. Maybe you are following the word, but not with love, not with joy. You reach to a point you faint. Amen. But then you follow with joy and by faith, with love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even when tribulation comes, deficiency has come, but whosoever loves knows that tribulation is there, and bankruptcy is also there, and deficiency is there, but that one does not discourage him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You find him standing firm, believing that this deficiency is for some time. 
tribulation for some time. Because his cautiousness is clean. Hallelujah. Because you're following the word of God. Your cautiousness is clean. You are standing very firm. You feel you have hope. That is a sign showing. You are together with Jesus Christ. But tribulation has come. You are filled with worries. Hallelujah. Showing that you are alone. The Savior is not together with you. But whosoever follows the word of God with love, by faith, even when tribulation comes, you don't feel like regretting. Even if evil things come, you feel to become. Amen. So that calmness, that means Jesus is together with you. You feel you have hope that I'm going, I'll, I'll have a path that this problem go away. So you have the strength to wait because you are not alone. You are together with Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And Jesus Christ is together with them. Those who follow him by faith, by, with love, not to be offended every time. Hallelujah. Asma had attacked me. But God enabled me Hallelujah. to follow the people of God, believing in what they are saying. When a sin is revealed, I confess it. Hallelujah. So I got faith. Hallelujah. I got faith. It was like it won't be healed. That asthma. It was like it will not be healed. People are saying asthma it is a disease that when there is rain that person must be down. I said to me, I said no. I don't have that faith. Because why am I suffering even when it is very hot? I didn't have that faith. Even if I've suffered the whole night, I come from my home. I could not even take tea. But I come here in company of brothers. They are telling me, hold this hammer. There is no strength. I have no gold or silver. But I'm able to hold a hammer. I hear there is no strength. But come 12 noon, I feel that my chest has been released. Hallelujah. There is no day I slept at home because I've suffered the whole night. Hallelujah. 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 So that following and that believing and that not getting weary and continuing that way, Jesus Christ, when he saw my faith, hallelujah, and pursuing him every time with love, hallelujah, 2001. Asthma came to me almost to kill me. It came to me. That was in fact to kill me. And it began on a Sunday like today. It was on 30th. I was at VOK there. I'm preaching but I'm feeling the church. There is a sign I will not sleep. I preach that way. And in the evening. I preach that way. And in the evening. I sat down to counsel people. But I feel. I went. I came back home. And I stayed the whole night. On Monday. What? Yeah. That night it was so serious. On Monday. I was unable to come out. That was the only day I was unable to come out. I woke up at 9 o'clock. Did I sleep even? Now the devil was telling me, you are not going to see the year 2002. Because we are on that fast. That is the eve of the new year. So that time I was suffering. So when it came to 12 midnight, 12 noon I tried to come here. 
And I start, I start behind there inside this Safina. And servant of God, Immanuel Kea Mzungu came. At that time, he was a church elder. I said, I have come for prayers only. Because I never had any sleep. And when he looks at me, even I'm unable to speak. So he told me, close your eyes. You will be alright. Because the division that you have the diligence that you have you deserve to be okay so he prayed for me so he said go home and take some rest but be prayed for it was like he was accelerating the sickness when I reached home the devils are saying why, why, have, you, why have you gone to the church so the church Chest was very much squeezed. But in my heart, I feel I have peace. To be healed or to die, the one who knows that is God. You, the devil, don't know anything. It is Jesus himself said he doesn't know the time or the hour. Then how do you know the day of my death? So in my heart, I feel I'm calm. Because the servant of God, Mchungaji, had preached very much. And I had been an able to pursue him or to follow him. The hindrance had gone away. Amen. Amen. The bitterness had gone away. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I feel I have peace with all men. And that peace with all men that murmuring has gone away that way Jesus is together with me. I'm suffering, but then I have no fear. I'm answering the devil that dying or to be healed, you are not even aware of that. Amen. Amen. Go out of me. I was never called to come and die here. They will all be healed. That the time death will come on its own time. He didn't bring me from my job journey to come and die here with diseases. So I feel I should answer Wrestling. So I feel I'm calm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And in the evening, the evening came. So when it was five o'clock. Yeah. I told my wife no. Go to the founder, madam. And tell him that. Fighting. And again, go through that side to Mareni. The servant of God, Mchungaji. And tell him I'm in a fight that they should pray for me. So when she came back, she said, I've gone all those areas and I'm back. At one time, the preacher came. Amen. Amen. It was Pastor Pascal that came. He came. Amen. Amen. He said, What's the problem, brother? I said the word that you know. But this time it has come so serious. And he didn't speak many things. He said, close your eyes. When he left, it was like he had said also. Now it came to be so serious. Now. And that was the ending of the devil. If you see that, you have had a problem. But it is so serious now. That is the ending of the devil. He is defeated. Hallelujah. 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 So he wants you to fear that you, you live in. And you say, why should I die? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when he went out, it was so serious now. At 7 o'clock, the devils are saying, you will not reach 12 midnight. People are waiting for 12 midnight. When you, they see it is now one minute past, they begin celebrating the new year. You will never come to 12 midnight you're going to die. But in my heart, I'm together with Jesus Christ. I feel I'm very safe. There is no fear of death. And even if it means dying, I feel there's no problem. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that way, I'm not alone. I'm together with Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. At 11 o'clock, 11.30, 
So it was so sweet at that time. And my wife was seated somewhere there. She was deep asleep. But she was unable to sleep. At one time he asked me, How are you? And I'm also seated. Right of the bed, no sleeping. We are only having the kitchen one, but it's off. That kitchen lamp. The room is filled with that smoke. And the, the room we are in has no big window. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So at 11.30, yeah, I felt that I had gone very far. If it was in the world, I was taken to ICU. I felt that my understanding is gone. I don't know anything anymore. For 30 minutes, I didn't know where I was. I felt that I was had gone very far. I felt that the spirit had gone away. Hallelujah. But after that, I felt some people shouting from far. People are playing things there. Down there, at Pastor Chango, they are playing some things. Where I was very far, but I was given the understanding. Those are cheering and singing. Why? Because they have seen the new year. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I opened my eyes. I am unable. I cannot breathe. I'm breathing through difficulties. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I looked, there was a wall clock there. It was now 12 midnight. It was past one minute past 12 midnight. The understanding came to me from far. So those people who are shouting, it, is me, it means they have seen 2002. Amen. Amen. So understanding came to me. I am unable really. But why are they cheering? Because they have seen 2002. So I have also seen the, the, the 2002 which I was told I'll never see. So I felt some joy had come to me in my heart. So I have also seen the 2002. Amen. I felt some joy coming to me. I'm suffering yet, but then joy came. If those people are rejoicing, they have seen 2002. I, also, I have also seen it. I'm suffering yet. I'm not yet left. But I felt in my heart. Let me kneel down a little bit. There was a stool there. The house has no floor. It Mama is dusty. Yeah, pale. And my wife is seated somewhere. She had a little bit close to her I was unable. I was unable. Even saying thank you. Just on the stool, I put my hand there. I said the thank you inside my heart. Before one minute, there came a very deep sleep. Right when I was kneeling at the stool. Deep sleep like I'd taken drugs. When I was woken up, it was six in the morning. From that twelve midnight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My dear. Jesus is the same yesterday and today and forever. And forever. And forever. And forever. Hallelujah. 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 If you follow the God of the founder with love. And you pursue the servant of God with love. And whatever he's teaching us, Jesus will be together with you. And he's the revival. The blessings of not seeing you will be able to see them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I opened my eyes, I had forgotten where I was. The ceiling. And who is seated on the yani, bed there? I don't understand. I don't understand myself. Where am I? And who is that there seated there? And where am I? After maybe two minutes, and then the understanding came again. Okay. 
Then I remember from that day. Nasa hiyo, and that time, nasikia amani. I feel I have a lot Kicho of pain from the head to the toes. Amani sijasikia peace that I have never had from the time I was born. That joy was so great. Yeah? I felt like a child that had been born today. So 12 midnight. And when it came to 12 noon, there's a voice that came to me before kneeling down. Amen. Yeah. It said, They are defeated, those ones. They are defeated, those ones. Who said, You will never see the year 2002. I felt a very loud voice before kneeling down there. They are defeated. Who said, You will not see the, the new year? Then who are those? The devils are defeated. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I woke up my wife. I told her, wake up. She opened her eyes. Yeah, how do you feel now? I, felt, I said, I'm healed. So I'm surprised with her. Is it, is Hallelujah. It? Hallelujah. My dear God is there. Lakini, but kusita -sita. Hesitating and not loving. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You should be unable to follow with joy and with love. Yes, you Jesus is there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that was the end of the problem. When I used, I used to suffer one night, when I wake up, I feel I'm fatigued. It's like I've suffered the whole night. But it was only three days ago. I feel I have a lot of pain. Then I told that prepare some tea for me. I, I couldn't even, I wasn't able to take tea. And that day, we had got a packet of wheat flour. She also prepared some tea. I took tea with pancakes. But I'm surprised with everything. Even children are calling me daddy. Is it really benaya or what? I'm surprised with everyone. So when they are going, I'm surprised again who are those people. I had gone very far. I'm saying this. I came out of death and I was put into life. Hallelujah. 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 I came out of death and I went into life. Even you, while you are here, your problem is nothing. Believe in the God of the Father. Inside his servant Emmanuel Kamsu, and you are unable to follow with love the word that are being preached of Jesus Christ, and serve him wholeheartedly, and repent wholeheartedly, and love brothers with all joy and love. Jesus is there, he be together with you, and the joy you are looking for, you'll be able to come to it. Hallelujah. 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 The peace that you are looking for in your house with your husband will come to you. Do not get weary. Insist on loving. Insist on loving. Insist on loving. Insist on following with love. Peace will come. The book of Job. Zaburi Tisina Moja Kuminane. Asoma. Kwa kuwa amekaza kunipenda. Dio, dio. Kwa kuwa amekaza kunipenda, nitamuokoa na kumweka palipo juu kwa kuwa amenijua jina langu. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he had known my name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sorry, I had recorded wrong. Kwa kuwa amekaza kunipenda. Anasema jitu some tena. You read for us again. You reach to a point and you hesitate. You reach to a point and from the time I gave time, I'm blessing brothers and sisters. My things are not going ahead for. Ah, no. Anasema, he says, because this one has gone ahead, hata umekuja, even deficiency has come, hata umekuja, even tribulation has come, hakati tama, he's not fainting, he moves on loving me, kunifata. he insists on following me, tamuoko, I'm going also to save him, tusome. you read for us. Kwa kuwa amekaza kunipenda, nitamuokoa. 
na kumweka palipo juu kwa kuwa amenijua jina langu because he had set his love upon me therefore will i deliver him i will set him on high because he has known my name kwa kuwa amekaza kunipenda because he has loved me hata amelala even when he has slept na amekesha na asthma and he has stayed the whole night with asthma lakini amekaza kupenda but he insists on loving hati kwenda kwa kazi ya umoja he doesn't stop going to the work of unity nakuja hapa hapa i'm coming here kwa ndugu akiniangalia when brothers look at me wanajua huyu hakulala vizuri they know this one did not sleep well nina hema i'm nina hema i'm breathing niko hapa hapa i'm here kwa ubiru wananiangalia preachers are looking at me wanajua huyu rimba huyu they know this rimba hakulala vizuri did not sleep soundly lakini wandugu wakiingia kugonga mbao but when they begin working i'm together with them amen amen mwaka enda mwaka rudi ya in ya out mwaka enda mwaka rudi ya in ya out hallelujah hallelujah na kuamini ya kwamba and i believe that mungu wa mwanzeleshi god of the founder hakuniita humu did not call me here sana magonjo ya lana to come and die with diseases haya ananipata so these things are coming to me dhambi zangu this is because of my sin mungu nisamee so god forgive me uchungu kwa baba na mama bitter and sickness my father and mother i confess to me bado ninatubu but i'm still repenting kwa kujuta kule moyoni regretting in my heart hallelujah hallelujah kukaza huko kupenda huko so that insisting in that love nakufuata huko and that following hallelujah hallelujah nakufuata huko and that following nakupenda huko and that loving bwana kaniokoa then the lord deliver me leo na usingizi wa amani today i'm sleeping soundly asma nimesahau i have forgotten about asma hallelujah hallelujah bwana wewe wafika mali walegeza then why do you reach a point and hallelujah hesitate wafika mali a jamani kwa hiyo rita point asio hiyo imewamaliza i finished all the preachers mimi hana taniokoa tena i don't know who will deliver me again i've gone to all preachers lakini bwana yesu but jesus christ hujamumaliza you have not completed him yeye bado ni wa kuokoa he still of salvation haleluya haleluya umemaliza wao mbili you have finished all preachers lakini yesu but jesus hujamumaliza you have not finished him anasema he says penda love usiwe na uchungu do not have bitterness haleluya haleluya Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Love da wewe maybe unapenda kidogo kidogo. You are you are loving halfway. Upendi sana. You don't love very much. Ufuati sana. You don't follow very much. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mtu akikukwaza if somebody offends you. Una roho ya kuachilia. You don't have that heart of pardon. Na Bwana Yesu alisema and Jesus say achilieni you should pardon. Nanyi mtaachiliwa. And you shall also be pardoned. Sameheni you forgive. Nanyi mtasamehewa. And you shall also be forgiven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mshe hukumu do not judge. Nanyi hamtahukumiwa. And you shall not be judged. Labda unafika mahali. So maybe you reached a point. Una mtu hujamsamehe. You have somebody I'm not forgiven. Bwana alikukosa mwaka jana. Because you offended you last year. Ukimuona and when you See him, you feel that you are astonished then you have not loved very much amen amen hallelujah hallelujah hujapenda sana you have not loved much bwana yesu jesus christ hata alipotukanwa when he was abused hakuregesha matukano he never returned the abuse alimgabidhiea hukumuye kwa haki he gave it to him who judges rightfully hallelujah hallelujah wewe unafika mahali but you reached a point unajilipiza kisasi mwenyewe you are revenging uko kunaitwa that is now called upendi sana you don't love very much wafuata kweli you are following really lakini unafika mali una sita but then you reach a point of hesitation anasema aje tusomee tena what does he say read for us again kwa kuwa amekaza kunipenda nitamwokoa na kumweka palipo juu kwa kuwa amenijua jina langu because he has set his love upon me therefore will i deliver him i will set him on high because he has known my name hallelujah hallelujah kwa huyu amekaza huyu so because this one has insisted hata yale ambayo amefanywa na jirani even those things have been done to him by the neighbor ni ya kuwa hata amuzile kabisa is for him to boycott him completely hata asimsalimie kama zamani and not to greet him at all like before lakini bado akiamka asubuhi but when he wakes up again in the morning anaenda kwa jirani wenyewe hapa he goes to the neighbors knocking here mumeamshwaje na mungu how are you hata wao nao wanashangaa even they are also surprised jirani huyu leo this neighbor today aseme hodi wenyewe hapa come say knocking here hata anisalimie until he greets me na vile tulivyokosana jana and we are, we offended each other yesterday atasema huyu ana mungu huyu then he said this one has gone si yule wa jana huyu is not the one of yesterday amen amen unakaza kupenda so you insist on loving kupenda jirani loving the neighbor bana bana yesu anasema because jesus is saying natoka mautini we are coming out of death tunaingia uzimani and going into life mama tupenda ndugu because we love brothers na anasema paulo and he says paul tafuteni kwa bidii look diligently kwa na amani to have peace na watu wote all men amen amen 
Well, na mmoja huna amani nani? Then you have one you have no peace with. Hicho ndio kizuizi. That is the hindrance. Chama ma yako. Of your court. Hupendi sana. You don't love very much. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Unafika mahali wa sita. You reach a point and hesitate. Unafika mahali wa kosa kufuata. You reach a point you don't follow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ndio maana that the meaning ufikii uzima kamili. You're not able to read the complete healing. Lakini anasema but he says tafuteni kwa bidii kuwa na maana wa. Seek diligence of peace with all men. Na Bwana Yesu akasema katika Mathayo And Jesus said in the book Yeri of Matthew Be clean hearted Maana hao watamuona Bwana Because you shall be able to Yeri see the Lord safi. Blessed are the ones who are Mana clean hearted hao watamuona Bwana Because they will be able to see the Lord safi. A clean heart kama uliokuwa ndani ya Petro like that one which was in Hata Peter ameambiwa rudi nyuma wewe ni shetani when he was told go behind you are the Mwana devil wake ni safi na bwana Yesu his heart was clean what Jesus he knew that Jesus hata kule kuniambia rudi nyuma ni shetani even telling me go back you are a devil bado ni pendo kwake still that was love to him bado anamfuata so he still follows him he still follows him atakufuata still follows him anajua hata kuonywa hivyo ni Mungu pia he knows to be rebuked that way is also God anasema tuonyane because God said we should warn one another Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hakuacha kufuata. He didn't stop following. Bwana ameambiwa rudi nyuma wewe ni shetani. Because you have been told go back you are a devil. Akajua nimekuwa shetani kweli. He knew that I have become a devil. Bwana nimetoa nimenanasio ya Bwana Yesu. Because I've spoken words which are contrary to Jesus. Nimetoa kisu. I have brought up drawn my club na kukata sikio mtu. And I've cut the ear of somebody. Na Yesu yeye alipizi kisasi. And Jesus does not revenge. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Akakubali. So he accepted. Pamoja na kuita shetani. Together being called a devil. Bado akafuata akapenda hivyo. I continue following and loving. Yesu akiangalia nyuma. When Jesus looked behind. Anaona yule huyo. He saw Peter coming behind him. Mwisho akamwambia njo. Eventually said come. Petro njo. Peter come. Nimeona wanipenda. I have seen that you love me. Je, unanipenda? Then do you really love me? Akasema He said, "Yeah." I'm asking you. And Jesus knew that he loves him. He asked him three times. I'm asking you, Peter. Do you love me? He said, "Yes, Lord." I'm asking you. Do you really love me? Then he said, "You bear witness." Maana wewe wajua moyo wa mtu because you know somebody's heart hata mawazo yake even his thoughts kama sipendi wewe unajua if i don't love then you know nisaidie kutopenda kwangu then assist me not my not my loving akaniambia asante then he said thank you lisha wana kondoo zangu now feed my sheep amen amen na wewe and you kutoka leo from today utaitwa petro tena you no longer be called peter utaitwa jiwe you will be called a stone na juu yako and upon you kanisa litajengwa i build my church Shika funguo hizi. Take the keys here. Uombalo duniani. Whatever you pray on earth. Binguni limesikiwa. It is hard in heaven. Na unifungalo duniani. Whatever you bind on earth. Limefungwa binguni. It is also bound in Ana heaven. Anapewa funguo kwa nini? Why is he given the key? Maana alifuata kwa kupenda Because sana. Because he followed with great love. Hata alipoitwa shetani. And when he was called the devil. Bado akapenda hivyo hivyo. But he continued loving. Akapenda muhubiri wake huyo huyo. He really loved his preacher. Wewe ukikemewa. But when you are rebuked. Utazira hata salamu. You are going to boycott even greeting. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wasema huyu amenidharau. You said this one that despised me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ndio maana that's why ufikii mema you are not able to read the good things. Hayo wamfuataje bwana Yesu? So how do you follow Jesus Christ? Je, ni kwa kupenda? Is it with love? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ukifuata muhubiri utaokoka. If you follow the preacher of the same, but you follow the word of Jesus. The one that is being Because the preacher can change. But the word that is telling you, which are the words of Jesus. If you follow them, and with love, and by faith, Jesus is together with you. Hallelujah. 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 Na hata ukachelewa baraka. And if and if you delay in getting your life. Na uzima. Even if you delay in getting your life. Utakuja tu. But it still come. Hallelujah. 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 Utakuja. It will come. Hata katika dhiki ukipita kwa katika dhiki. Even if you pass through tribulation. Utasikia unamoyo wa tumaini. You feel that you have the heart of God. Maana huko peke yako. Because you are not alone. Uko pamoja na mwokozi. You are together with the Savior. Yeye anafanya kazi na wale wapendao. And he is working together with those who love. Na wale wamfuatao. And those who follow him. Kwa kupenda. In love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh
Ni mwami 